a foregone conclusion that Ter Tevin Farmer and Javante Davis are fighting for the IBF title? Is Did I get a memo? Or did I miss a memo, I should say? Is there a, a worldwide press paper going around saying Tevin Farmer and Javante Davis are fighting for IBF super featherweight strap? Because that's what it seems to be going around in the social media and all the boxing world. No one is giving Konichi Ogawa a chance. Like he does, he's he's just stepping in the ring to lose. Not no one's even paying attention that Konichi Konichi Ogawa is not coming in this fight to get a belt. He's coming into this fight to get another belt. He is the Japanese super featherweight champion. He's made seven, I believe, seven defenses already, and he's just trying to get another belt. That's what we're going to cover on this breakdown of prediction on the Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. Good day. Yeah, so that is it, man. It's just Tevin Farmer and Tank Davis. Tevin Farmer, Tank Davis. On my terms, his terms, I'll knock you out, Farmer. People, there's a champion coming to get another belt. Respect this man. It's not going to be a cakewalk for Tevin Farmer. Or is it? That's what we're going to cover right now. The breakdown begins. <laughs> now, the feet and legs of these opponents. Oh, let's do, let's do the rundown. Hold on. Let's do the rundown. So this is for the IBF vacant super featherweight title. It's the one uh, Javante Tank Davis did lose on the scales. Now, T Tevin Farmer is ranked number 23 in the world, number 5 by the IBF, and he's number 3 in the USA. He's 25, 4, and 1. Out of his, five, out of his 25 victories, 5 victories have come by KO. So it brings him to a fight in... 17 16 percent knockout ratio at his four losses which has been well documented earlier on in his career he's like a 16 17 fight winning streak those four losses he's been KO twice and he has one draw now with his what's that 30 fight career it expands to 199 rounds he's 27 years old so he has the good experience he's 5'6 and he's coming in with a 67 inch reach out of Philadelphia USA and he's a southpaw now his opponent the Japanese super featherweight champion Kenichi Ogawa he's number two in Japan number four by the IBF and number 16 in the world so if you believe in rankings Ogawa so far, it's not a cakewalk. His career is 22 and 1 with 17 KOs, 74 knockout percentage, and his one loss, he has been KO. So that was earlier on in his career. So his 23 fight career is 110 rounds. He's 29 years old. He's coming in with a two inch height advantage. So he's coming with a stronger power. And a two inch height advantage. I couldn't find the reach, but he's coming out of Japan. He's an orthodox fighter, and once again, he is the Japanese super featherweight champion. So, that being a little rundown, now it is officially breakdown and prediction time right here with me, Mr. A, on the Double RT Boxing Show. Oh my god! <laughs> now, the legs and feet of this. Ooh, this is. I am. I am on the fences about this fight. I am on the fences. I've been thinking, thinking, thinking. Still on the fences on this fight. So, the feet and legs. Tevin Farmer. He uses his legs very well. He's in and out with his punches. He's turning on angles. He's back foot fighting. Um, he's constantly turning his opponents. He gets. He doesn't sit down on his punches. That's why he doesn't have the power. But he gets enough leverage from his legs to get a nice stinging three-piece off on you. 
or even a nice just counter. He's very good with his legs. As far as Kenichi Ogawa, he's a pressure fighter with his legs. He's coming to just walk you down. You know, use proper uh, space situ with his feet and gets punch and power with his uh, legs. Now he will turn opponents with his feet, but he's not going to use much lateral movement. So with the in and out of the whole usage of the ring, I'm going with Tevin Farmer. His legs provide much more of an obstacle for an opponent to pass. But if, you know, but with that ring usage, he could eat up time. He's going to be harder to figure out, harder to break down the space for Kenichi. Tevin Farmer definitely gets the feet and legs. Now, as far as defense, those feet and legs are going to help Tevin Farmer in this category as well. He's, he's, he's already elusive from the upper waist movement. He can move. He slips punches. He, uh, he's a great, he's a decent offensive counter puncher. But I want to say he's great, but a high part of his game, fight game, is um, defensive counter punching and defensive um, catch and shoot punching. So, and then with, with his ability to use his legs as back foot fighting, circling his opponents, like I previously mentioned, his defense is good. He ducks down low. He's already a 5'6 guy, so he always tends to duck to his right. So his punches fly right over him. Now as far as Kanichi, his defense, he shows a lot of looks. You know, even though he's, he's kind of like right in front of you, but he's constantly doing these things up and down. He's giving you a different look. He's not, he's not consistently still. He's up and down with his legs back and forth he catches punches he's a I would say he's decent at defensive counter punching but he's more of an offensive counter puncher he's gonna punch with you or before you oh so defensively now how will he be able to handle that farm our speed I'm not too sure. I think that might be a, it. Might be a little fast for him at first. I'm going to go with the defense of Tevin Farmer. Maybe it is his belt to lose. Yes, maybe right here on Double RT Boxing. We'll see. We'll see. Who are you going with? Do you know who you got? Do you know who you got for this fight? Because I sure don't. Now, as far as offensive category, punching jabs. Tevin Farmer has a nice quick snap jab it's good konnichiwa has a nice strong power jab it's good really good they both both these jabs can control around both these jabs can win around i'm going to go with konnichi ogawa on this one i believe his harder jab like i said both jabs could win rounds but the harder jab, I believe, is with Konnichiwa. I think that one could wear you down physically as well as mentally. I think Seven Farmer has a mentally wear down jab. As far as power, Konnichiwa, the dude that hits, he sits on his punches. He he throws with power. Speed variation. Oh, I would go with Seven Farmer. I believe even. If, he doesn't sit in front of you long enough, but when he does, he has a better mix of speeds. While Kanichiwa, he tends to throw a 1-2 at the same speed, and he'll change it to a 1-2 body hook. So it's decent speed. So speed variation goes with Tevin Farmer. He switches it up a little bit. Combination variation. I just said Kanichi, very basic fighter. What he does, he does very well. He goes, he goes jabbing, 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 jabbing. Boom, right hand, left hook. It's very, very good. Very good what he does. It's just robotic and basics. So can Tevin Farmer figure it out? Can he work around it? Can he stay away from that right hand? Now the combination variation, 
for Tevin Farmer, he doesn't throw too many combinations. That's not his style. He has maybe one, two piece you and then skate away and reset himself. So combination, variation, variation goes to Tevin Farmer. He throws more two pieces than all of Kenichi. Kenichi's going to go that the one, two, one, two, one, two, occasionally a lead right or the left hook off the one, two to the body. So that being a nice, similar fighting style breakdown. Whoo! Time to make a pick on this tough fight. We figure the way the world is talking about Tevin Farmer and Tank Davis, we would just say Tevin Farmer is the favorite. How can the Japanese champion <laughs> come in here and win this fight that no one is giving him? It sounds like no one's giving him a high chance to win this fight. I believe he's gonna. My, Mr. A's keys to victory for Konichi Ogawa. He's gonna have to really pump that jab more than he normally does, which he does a lot, but he's gonna have to really pump it, work the body, and, and come in at angles and exit on angles. Don't be in front of Tevin Farmer. It, it just helps Tevin Farmer with his speedy shots. So again, work behind the jab, pump it, pump it more than normal, work the body, and enter and exit on angles. Now, that being the underdog's keys to victory, Alex, it sounds like the house favorite is Tevin Farmer. And I'm right here on Double RT Boxing, where you giving your time and support, and I say thank you so much. My prediction, Mr. A. Woo, 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 this is a tough fight. This is a tough one, ladies and gentlemen. But we are going to go with and the new IBF Super Featherweight Champion all the way from Japan, Konichi Ogawa. I do believe he will bounce back in the fifth round t towards on I do believe he will find a rhythm of Tevin Farmer's speed start to handle it and then deliver those power shots Tevin Farmer is going to get off some nice counter speedy shots I just don't know if they're going to have the power behind them they're going to be some nice scoring points but I, I do believe eventually Ogawa is going to land that devastating right hands enough, enough. And I'm going on the limb. I'm going with 11th round stoppage. A shockingly stoppage to end. Erupply end. Excuse me. The Tevin Farmer and Javante Take Davis talk. Some Konichi. Ogawa is going to put a turd in that punch bowl. That is my prediction. Let's see where it goes. Once again, and the new IBF Super Featherweight Champion from Japan, the Japanese feather, Super Featherweight Champion, Konichi Ogawa. 11th round stoppage. Woo, what do you guys think? What do you think? This is a tough fight thank you for tuning in i am mr a this is the double rt boxing show another breakdown of prediction coming your way your way your way your way